Let's start with the very basics of Figma and that is what Figma actually is. Figma is a vector graphics editor that is primarily focused on user interface and user experience design. This doesn't however mean that that's the only thing it can be used for. It can be used for any purpose that's compatible with uh, vector graphics editors. Theoretically you could design for example posters or print materials but most often you you will see Figma being used for designing websites, websites or apps and other UX and UI purposes where the primary concern is building a user interface or some type of flow or interaction. One of the main selling points of Figma is the ability to create very complex and comprehensive design systems, which is basically a set of UI elements templates. So let's say that you would want, want to create a design system for an app. So that's where you'd create templates for buttons, for text fields, for uh, drop down menus and so on. And Figma is very good at this. So Figma is very good at creating design systems and using components. Figma is primarily web-based, uh, which means that you can use the app when it runs within a browser, but it also has its own native app for Mac and for Windows. And also one of the main selling points of Figma is also the emphasis on real-time real -time collaboration. So what, what Figma is trying to do is really make it easy for you and your team, your design team to work together on a project, make it easy to share the files, make it easy to comment and interact and just kind of enable a certain kind of team workflow that wasn't previously possible when, for example, working with other software. So previously collaboration like a few years ago, that just wasn't such a big thing as it is today, mainly thanks to Figma. So collaboration design systems, that's the, I would say the two biggest selling points, two biggest advantages that Figma has over its competitors. That's also probably the reason why you want to use it. Also, since Figma is primarily focused on websites, apps, and user interfaces, it offers the ability to build so-called prototypes. And these are basically previews. These are mockups of the final product. So for example, if you are designing a website and you build a website prototype, prototype is something that, that looks like the final website that you can share with your clients, with your team. And uh, if you set things up in a certain way, it's possible to click through and interact with the prototype in a certain, to a certain extent. So prototypes are basically models of the final product. So since Figma is focused on collaboration, that includes the collaboration of developers and designers, which means that it's trying to, and I would say pretty successfully, to simple the whole workflow the whole process from design to the final product. So if you'd like to understand how websites and apps and user interfaces are designed, if you would like to build prototypes, even animated prototypes, create design systems, or maybe even create presentations, certain kind of animations or logo design or icon design, for example, Figma is the right choice for you and I think you should definitely learn it. Also, since it's free and web-based, I would say that the barriers of entry are very low. And if you want to learn Figma, this video is a part of the Figma Basics series, which is a playlist, uh, a series of videos on my channel where I go over the basics of Figma and trying to kind of get you up to speed with this powerful software. And then not only that, but on my channel, you can find uh, more advanced tutorials on Figma for example, concerning animated prototypes, UI design, icon design. So if you want to get started with this app, the links should be on the screen and in the description below. As always, if there's anything unclear, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching all the way to the very end. If you found this video useful, please leave a like and subscribe for more tutorials on Figma and digital design. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.